Hi everyone, it's Michael Tiny Saul. It is Wednesday at 1.07 a.m. This is Forex Trading Analysis for Wednesday, May 11th, 2011. So yesterday when I did the Forex trading video, I had talked about doing an early update today, but what I was looking at that may have been setting up just wasn't anymore, so I wanted to give the pairs and crosses a little time to see if anything is setting up, and I'm still in wait-and-see mode here. I'm going to go through a couple of the majors, a couple of the crosses, but uh, I don't see anything right now that, in my opinion, is actionable. We'll start with the Euro. Had an inside day on Tuesday after the doji on Monday, and then you could see a real narrow range, even for uh, this early. It's still a pretty narrow range, and that doesn't mean it won't get expansion from here, but there's, there's no pattern here for me. Okay, here's the Aussie dollar. Now the Aussie dollar, okay, is drifting up. We looked at the Fibonacci retracements yesterday. Okay, and we can do that again. And we're through this. We're through the 62% retracement. So now we're looking at uh, 0907 as next resistance. That's the 78.6% retracement. Here is the dollar yen. Okay, it still looks like it's drifting to this moving average, but I, I don't see a trigger here. Here's the um, dollar Swiss, and the dollar Swiss is above the moving average, but nothing real quiet so far this evening. Here's the loony. Okay, the loony came back down, tested the middle line, but nice and quiet in Canada as well it appears I mean the, these ranges are so low I want to reload every chart thinking that the data is not correct but uh, it, it it is I mean the you know the data is correct so um, you know there's nothing else to really say I mean it's just they're just mild days here so nothing is setting up that I'm looking at on any of these saying okay you know we got to get on board uh, these but uh, I, I don't think it'll last. I think that Wednesday has the chance of doing something that may lead to uh, a setup, whether it's a real narrow range candle or whether some of these pairs and crosses start to move later on and uh, that'll set up maybe some continuation or something for Thursday. But, you know, right now, I mean, just really... Nothing really setting up here that I'm getting um, uber excited about. So, you know, we'll just finish up, keep looking at these. I mean, if something sticks out, I'll say, hey, look at this one. But uh, as of right now, I mean, yeah, here's the Swiss yen. I mean, this isn't a bad looking pattern, but it, it has to, you know, we have to see what happens after Wednesday, right? I mean, this isn't bad. And if this forms uh, an inside candle or stays inside this um, consolidation, then we could watch this for a trigger to the downside maybe tomorrow. Okay, so uh, tomorrow I'll definitely try to do the update early. should always be, be checking if uh, you don't get the email. You should be checking by 5 o'clock the blog or the YouTube channel to see if uh, something's posted. But uh, I was looking... As you know, yesterday, I believe, at the uh, the Kiwi Looney cross, which we'll get to eventually. These charts are so freaking slow, it's like ridiculous. Uh, here's a, watch the middle line here. Okay, watch the moving average here. Looks at This looks like it could be a bear flag. That's the pound Swiss. Uh, but I was watching that Kiwi Looney, and you know, just it, it just uh, decided to gap down out of the little pattern. I mean, I'm still going to watch it, but here's another one came up retracement up to this moving average so uh, we could have some nice ones tomorrow okay and uh, you know I don't I never force a trade I'll do 50 videos in a row without looking at, at new stuff and usually we find a couple of setups uh, a week okay uh, was this yeah this was it this was it and you could see we're looking at something like this and then it gapped down outside of it so there's no real uh, pattern there I mean, this one, the Aussie kid, this one could be 
a nice one, but we have to give it another session. I have to give it the Wednesday session. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't bore everybody. I tried to jazz it up by talking over the chart changes. And uh, check back early on Thursday. Just, to, you know, when, I'm sorry, check back early Wednesday evening. See if anything's setting up overnight for Thursday. Uh, if not, I just, uh, I won't do the video early. I'll just wait a little bit. Okay, so that's really it. I will talk to everybody again tomorrow. Uh, you could check the website for the 9 a.m. update in case I throw something up there, but uh, more than likely, yeah, that's it's probably uh, not going to happen here. I, I want to probably give this uh, one more session. So that's it. Talk to everybody again tomorrow. Have a great trading day. Well, actually, I'll talk to everybody later today. Have a great trading day on Wednesday.